totally opposed to using uh, criminal laws to gag, you know, or stifle free speech. Uh, the reason why this case was instituted by Nedo Woko in the first place was because we opposed his using the same method to harass uh, a, an influencer on Instagram known as Jaruma. Uh, and uh, he took offense at that uh, and uh, decided to get me arrested. And when I was arrested, I told the police uh, there is no law uh, known to man that says that I cannot assist somebody who is uh, who is being gagged to get out. So, and as a result, I refused to write a statement in the police station. I asked them to detain me. They couldn't detain me. They released me eventually. When uh, they couldn't get away with that, they arrested our lawyer. It's, you know, uh, Marshal Abubaka, who works with uh, Femi Falan, and detained him for days before he got out. So this is uh, to just remind Nigerians that we will continue to do the job that is necessary. Uh, to, the, uh, to the credit of the judge, he granted us a long adjournment last time so that we could attend to the elections. And uh, elections are over, or the selections are over now. And uh, they have selected another, <laughs> another president uh, for Nigeria. These are part of the reason why we get prosecuted and persecuted all the time by the political class. It's because we don't agree with their method of doing things that do not work for the Nigerian citizenry. So uh, we'll be back in June. And I also always constantly remind those of you who follow me to court that uh, we have several of these cases. Some of them civil criminal. I see how the treason charge, my passport is this is after four years in Nigeria. Uh, I also uh, just recently been sued by, I think my 14th lawsuit for libel was instituted by Kayo uh, uh very recently. So the IG of police, former IG sued me. The Attorney General of uh, the federal government, uh, Malami, I hope at going, uh, also sued me. There are several of these lawsuits. But we will continue to protect the rights of Nigerian citizens to freely speak their mind on issues affecting them. And that's, that's why Nigeria needs more than anything at this time, because we have been debased over time. And this uh, very terrible regime uh, held by Buhari uh, will be living, according to him. And he was apologizing last week for the crimes he committed against Nigerian people. My response is that uh, his crimes are beyond apology. He must pay for them. And this is what I've always said since I came back to Nigeria and uh, been detained uh, permanently here for the last four years, that all this will come to pass. And we'll be in an era where we can boast and brag and uh, Tom says that we did our best uh, within the circumstances that uh, we found ourselves to ensure that this country continues to enjoy and the revolution um, is coming, you know. They, they will not expect it when they will hit. And that's what I've always I've predicted it. And some of it are happening, but we are not yet out, you know. Uh, we are just moving from uh, fry pan now to the bottom of... Uh, another face of it. Another face of it, for, to the bottom of another fire, you know. And this one might actually be real hell fire such that in the next uh, four years, oh, people, yes. people might be saying that Buhari was a better <laughs> human being. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. So, and uh, to those of our friends in law enforcement, you have seen now how puerile your activities are, you know. So those of you who have been used constantly to harass, insult, and assault fundamental freedoms of others, some of you are not taking your salaries. Some of you are no longer safe in this country. And some of you are going to retire without benefits. You know that. It's just, it's just a matter of time. All of you will regret what you did against uh, people like us who are unjustly persecuted. But it's our country, and uh, we have nowhere else to go. I don't have a Guinean passport. I don't have a, a passport for Sudan or any of this. Uh, or Niger, where Buhari said he will run away to. I only have a Nigerian passport, and it's been, it's been detained here at the Federal High Court. So guys, uh, thank you once again. Uh, for following us and uh, for supporting. Uh, we will be liberated no matter how long it takes. Uh, and I can assure you of that. Thank you. Revolution now. now.